What is happening everybody? My name is Zed and welcome to Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. For those of you that don't know, this game is probably the most rage inducing game in the world. I've played it. I've played it for about 45 minutes in the past. I got so angry at this game, I uninstalled it from my computer. I was so mad. But I was talking to my brother the other day. He's played it quite a few times. I've seen other people play it. It's beatable. It's doable. And I really want to see the ending. The streamer, the streamers and YouTubers I watched play this, none of them showed the ending because there's a message that asks you not to. I really want to see the ending. So I'm going to try and go for it. I may not get there. I probably won't get there. I may or may not throw some stuff, but we're gonna try it again. I'm gonna start new. Start fresh. Oh. Reget my feel for it. This game is difficult because it's so hard. That's... It is... It is incredibly hard, and it looks easy when you're... <laughs> When you're watching it be played, it looks easy. You're like, okay, yeah, you just swing the hammer around. Easy as that. That's not quite right. <laughs> it sounds easy. It sounds easy when you say it like that, but that's not quite as simple as it is. So if you can see that little circle, that's where my mouse is. You can see how much variance there is between where his hammer goes versus where my mouse goes. Everything about this is so difficult, but this isn't the hard part. This is the easy getting you familiar with the controls part. And there will come times <laughs> where you have to do this a lot quicker, or else you don't have the momentum you need to get over. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute, if you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black, if you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it, if you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view, Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. He's not joking. He's not joking. This, All right. This Thanks for coming gets... with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. And don't worry. I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. Yes, he does save your mistakes. Immediately. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B games. And B games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Okay. Again, we're still at the easy part. <laughs> and one thing I can say about this game is it's very, very long. It is a very long, difficult game. Oh, come on. Yes. Anyway, okay. when you start sexy hiking, 
you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Okay. So you can kind of launch yourself. You get the angles right. No! And the thing is, right now you're going, ah, oh, whatever, you mess up, you fall a few feet. No. No, right now if I mess up, I fall a few feet. That doesn't remain the case for long. There are points where you will get very high up and fall all the way back to the very start. And that's, that's when the throwing things tends to happen is right at that moment. No! Oh, come on! The obstacles in yes. sexy hiking are unyielding, and that yes. makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them, and it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. You really come to start hating that guy's voice by the end of this. Not because there's anything wrong with his voice, but because he created this monstrosity of a game. Okay, I don't remember. When you're building a video game world, <laughs> you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. Oh, come on. Come on, stop. <laughs> okay. Okay, I got this. I got this. Whoop. Whoop. <clears throat> okay. Ugh, happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. I've got this. This is the Whoop. easy part. This is the easy part. I can do this. Just gonna... Give her... Oh, hold on. Give her one of these. Okay. Wipe down that surface. Zoom. <laughs> to the top of these lights is is about the extent of how far I ever got in this. <laughs> I can already feel it, like, the nerves, the nerves are tensing up a little bit. I don't know if you could see it, but I can feel it. And he won't just hover there, like, if I take my hand off the mouse, he will relax back down. He can't just hold himself suspended. You have to actively hold him there, if that's what you're trying to do. Okay, I think I can propel myself up a little bit. I can... Yes. Mm. Ah, damn it. Mm. 
shit. You've done this part before. You know it's possible. Just do what you did the oh, first. Piss time. off. Piss off. You might be wondering why a man in a cauldron with a hammer. And the answer to that is because why the hell not? Is basically that's that that's the only rundown you ever get. There's no context here, there's no it's no rationalizing, it's just an incredibly hard game that exists just to exist. Maybe that's not the only reason it exists. Maybe it also exists to piss people off. And if if so, good on it for achieving that which it is meant to do. Too often a game sets out a goal and doesn't quite reach it. But if the goal here is to make people mad, I would say spot on job, man. Ah, stop. And admittedly, it gets a little easier to get past these parts each time as long as you can stay calm. And staying calm, admittedly, is not one of my strongest skills. Stop! Settle down, man. Settle down. Sometimes he gets spastic and it's not my fault come out and say that right now. It's not always my fault when he gets all spazzy. It's, the mouse gets a little unresponsive. The Whoop. God damn it. Come on. Oh. Easy. Oh. That was close. Okay, so if I fall off that side, as you may have guessed, I land almost right at the beginning. Nice. And gentle. I am one with the hammer. I am the hammer. Yes. Just like that. Let the hammer flow through you. Don't fall! Damn it! Oh! Oh! We're okay. We're okay. I am calm. I am in a good headspace. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, that's not the way to do it. <laughs> that is not the way, man. What do I do? How do I get past this? My only conclusion could be that I'm going about it wrong. I just don't know what else I sh how else I should be doing. Okay, yeah, why not? Why not? Why not just launch launch ourselves? I think I'm going about it too slow. Maybe that's maybe that's the answer here. Maybe I just need to go a little quicker through here. Come on. Why would you swing that way? Why? <laughs> okay. Why? Why are you not doing what you usually do? Like, sometimes you go to move the mouse and, like, he goes all cattywampus. Instead of going up, he goes under. He zigs when he should zag. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to get past this. Is this where my journey ends? Right here? Three minutes into the climb? Hold on. Hold on. Motion blur. Quality resolution. Show mouse sometimes. Mouse sensitivity. Up. Resume. 
That mm. might be better. Yeah, that that might be better. Might be worse. Might be better. It's not better. It's not better. It's still bad. The friction is pretty questionable here. Like sometimes, sometimes you're so stuck on something, it's like Velcro, you can't slide by. And then other times, like if you lightly tap a wall, it's like you're sitting on a sheet of glass. Okay, I think I've got it figured. I think so. Stop! I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, you thought I was you thought I was mad about something silly like that? Come on. Come on. How childish do you think I am that I would be pissed off about a silly game featuring a man in a cauldron? Look at it. It looks like a kid's game. You think something like that could get me pissed off? Then you're mistaken. Because I am a pillar of calmness and patience. And there is nothing I can't overcome. When I put my mind to it. Nothing I can't overcome when I put my mind to it. There is nothing I can't do if my mouth pad would stop sliding all over the place. Is it is it dust on the mic uh, on the mouse is out? Is that that why it's being the way it is, or is this punishment? Is this punishment for s some kind of past wrongdoing? I think it might be. I think this game has a way of making you think about everything you've ever been pissed off about. Okay, I'm gonna give this five more minutes. Five more minutes, and then I'll have wasted as much of my life as I intend to on this stupid game. Come on! Steady! Doing? No, what we're doing. We're duct taping this down. No more sliding mouse pad. That's it. That's happening right now. No more sliding mouse pad, making my mouse jump all over the place. Fuck! Come on! Dial that back down just a little bit. I'm telling you, it does not control the way you think it controls. I know you're watching me going, Oh, dude, it's so obvious. Just do it this way. It does not do what you think it does. It is not as easy as you are sitting there thinking it is. I promise you. Fuck!
Oh, oh God, you just damn lost it. a lot of Fuck. progress. God. That's a deep frustration, a real punch in the gut. This has been getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below if you've played this yourself. I'll link to it so you can play it. It's fun. It is a fun, relaxing experience. You can hear the water. You can soak in the sights of the mountains. It's very calming and very peaceful and super duper worth it. Until next time, bye for now.